This has finally arrived. I'm pretty excited about this. This is my latest AliExpress delivery. This is a bleed kit. It looks pretty sick from the pictures I saw on AliExpress. So I've got a spare RockShox Revo bleed kit that I've been using as a bleed kit for my brakes. And it's not ideal because you don't have those clamps to clamp the fronts down. This looked like a proper professional bleed kit from the pictures I saw on AliExpress. This is cheap as chips in comparison to what I would have paid locally for the same product. This took roughly about five, maybe six weeks to arrive here. I'm gonna open this up now and we can just take a look and see the quality of this as well as what is all included inside this bleed kit. Look at that. Any other free gifts? Sometimes you get an extra freebie, but um, not with this package. A nice little tackle box. Apparently you've got attachments in here for SRAM, Bengal, whatever that is, the Avid, Hope, Formula, Haze. If you don't know how to bleed your brakes, I suggest you go look it up on YouTube because none of this is English. This is no use to me, I'm gonna toss it away. Here we have a nice selection of connectors. Here we also have six syringe tubings. Here's some syringe to tubing connectors. Ah, brake block spacers and, oh yeah, that is nice. That's a nice addition. Look at this. They also include this T10 Torx here for your brake bolts. Bleed block. These are connector press blocks. This goes in the vise, hose goes in there and it holds the hose in place while you put the connectors on. Very nice. This is what I've been missing. This is the critical part of bleeding brakes. It was really hard for me to get a proper brake bleed. I had to make a plan because I didn't have these. These are the hose clamps. So you're able to clamp the hose down and block it while you bleed your brakes. This is crucial if you're bleeding saran brakes because you need to pull a proper vacuum. And without these, it's really hard to pull a vacuum. I had to make a plan with cable ties instead of this. I used to bend the pipe closed, take a cable tie and tie that up to hold the bend closed and then pull a vacuum like that. This is the reason why I bought this brake bleed kit. Here's another reason why I bought this brake kit because you get this dentist style brake syringe and this just sits so comfortable in the hands. This makes such a difference compared to the standard syringes that I've been using, man. It's like a nice, hard, solid plastic. These syringes also have these proper palm grip, which fits nicely in the palm of your hand and your thumb. You're able to grip it nicely to pull a good vacuum and you're able to push it down nicely. Oh man, that is so smooth. That feels so good. This is such a sick buy. I'm so amped with this. They include some uh, what looks like grease or petroleum jelly. Check at that, even some gloves, a toe strap. You even get an eight and a seven spanner inside this kit. Here we get some more instructions, all in Chinese. Unfortunately, the instruction manual is all in Chinese. So it took a bit of figuring out to get it to this point. This is where you're gonna need these vice grips and the clear tubing just mounted inside of a vise so that it is secure. We're gonna press this bleed nipple straight into that tubing. Just lock the tubing down nicely with the vise jaws and just hammer that in. We're gonna need this bleed hose clamp. We're gonna put that straight on the tubing just like that. Once the bleed hose clamp is on, we can just put this little syringe to tubing nipple on. And that's it, that's what it looks like. So now we can just attach the hose straight to the syringe and that is so easy because the syringe hose just screws straight into the silver part of the syringe. And there we go, we've got a very nice and tight connection. I don't feel any air loss, it's pulling a really good vacuum and I can plunge it down without hearing any air loss in the system. Thanks for watching folks, I had fun on this episode but I have got some brakes to bleed. Check out the description tab for more info on this brake bleed kit. I think it was a good buy. It feels good, it feels great, it feels like quality stuff. Leave a comment in the comment section if there's any questions or anything you wanna know. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Subscribe if you like my channel. Thanks for joining. Keep it classy, keep it real, keep it safe. I will catch you on the next episode.